Are you serious? Are you serious? We have breaking news just now coming in. Special counsel Robert Mueller, his office is recommending little to no jail time at all for the former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. According to the reports, former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn provided substantial assistance in special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into the Russian election interference, according to court papers filed on Tuesday. Today, prosecutors have described Michael Flynn's cooperation with federal prosecutors in a sentencing memo filed by Robert Mueller that offered few new details of the now Russian probe. Noting that Michael Flynn met with Mueller's team 19 times, the memo says a sentence that includes no prison time is an appropriate and warranted suggestion. Matter of fact, the defendant provided firsthand information about the content and context of interactions between the transition team and the Russian government officials, according to the heavily redacted memo. The memo also said that Flynn began providing information to investigators not long after the government first sought his cooperation. His early cooperation was particularly valuable because he was one of the few people with long-term first-hand insight regarding the events and issues under the investigation by Robert Mueller, the special counsel's office, according to the memo. Michael Flynn pleaded guilty in December of 2017, just about a year ago, to a charge of lying to the FBI about his conversations with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislak. Now, Kislak died in late December of an unexplained, um, unexplained death in his office at the uh, at the Russian uh, his Russian office there in Washington D.C just weeks uh, before President Donald Trump took office. It was late December 2016. The crime, though, carries a maximum sentence of five years in prison and a fine of up to $250,000, according to uh, uh, the the crime that he uh, committed. But his plea agreement says he's eligible for a sentence of six months or even less and can request the court not to impose a fine. So Michael Flynn's sentencing is set for December 18th. It's expected that he will get little to no jail time at all and a very low fine. So basically, Michael Flynn loses his career as a national security advisor. And, uh, you know, look, that's a major, major hit. But... uh, will come out of this thing with probably little to no jail time and a lower fine, and uh, he gets to go on with his life. But Paul Manafort, on the other hand, it's a whole different story. Manafort actually was the person that Flynn rolled over on, according to the reports. And uh, now, in that plea agreement, Flynn admitted to discussing U.S. sanctions with Kislak in a phone call in late December, and then Kislak died like three days later. According to senior members of incoming Trump administration, we're aware of his efforts, which undermined the policies of the outgoing Obama administration. Flynn had urged Kislak not to overact to sanctions imposed by the Obama White House in a response to the Russian meddling in the presidential election the month before. Flynn had earlier made material false statements and omissions when confronted by FBI agents about the conversations, according to court papers. Flynn and Kislak phone call created turmoil in the early days of the Trump administration and sparked fresh questions about its ties to Russia. The White House denied that Michael Flynn had discussed these sanctions with Kislak during the phone call. And Vice President Mike Pence later said that Flynn had assured him the sanctions never came up. But then, on January 26th, then-acting Attorney General Sally Yates told the White House counsel Don McCann that sanctions had in fact been discussed 
in the call and warned that Michael Flynn was susceptible to blackmail by the Russians. But it wasn't until 18 days later, on February 13th, that Michael Flynn was forced to resign. The White House said Flynn, a decorated retired Army lieutenant general, was fired for misleading the vice president of the United States, Mike Pence, and other senior officials about his discussions with Kislak. Flynn, who was forced out after just three weeks on the job, is so far the only member of the Trump administration to plead guilty to a charge brought by Mueller, but he was not charged for uh, collusion. He was charged for lying to the FBI. As part of the investigation, Mueller's prosecutors have been trying to piece together what happened inside the White House over the next 18-day period, according to multiple people familiar with the matter. And the filing of the Flynn sentencing memos comes amid a flurry of activity in the Mueller investigation. Trump's former personal attorney, Michael Cohen, pleaded guilty last Thursday to lying to Congress about plans for a Trump Tower to be built in Moscow. And Cohen admitted that he was not being truthful when he told the Senate Intelligence Committee that the Moscow project ended in January of 2016 and was not discussed in extensively with others in the Trump organization. Court documents, though, filed by Mueller's office said that the talks continued into June of 2016 in the heat of the presidential race and for a time included discussions with President with then campaign uh, uh, with the Trump and his children and the Russian government officials. But on Friday, Mueller's office is expected to file court papers detailing why the special counsel is withdrawing a plea agreement with former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort. Prosecutors say Manafort breached the plea deal by lying to federal prosecutors after he agreed to cooperate in the Russian probe. And on December the 12th, Michael Cohen's expected to be sentenced in federal court in New York City. So Cohen's going to be sentenced probably going to go to prison. Michael Flynn looks like is going to get little to no jail time and a smaller fine. And Paul Manafort will probably never see the light of day again, unless he's pardoned by the president of the United States. And even then, the New York state's attorney, uh, the, new, uh, the state of New York will then charge him with lying perjury, and they will send him back to prison. He'll probably never get out. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. We'll continue to bring you breaking news and update information on the situation developing. Through all of this, why did Manafort go to prison? Not because of Russian collusion, but because of criminal charges he committed, crimes he committed, bank fraud and tax evasion, several other things, 12 years ago. I'll be back with more in just a moment.